find the bathroom, sit down. It's one of those weird bathrooms where the toilet's like right in front of the door. Oh, yeah. So I'm in there kind of doing my thing. And I see some movement in the bedroom <laughs> oh. down the hall. And it turns out there was a person sleeping in the bedroom down the hall. And I'm here using the, the restroom <laughs> with the door wide open at 7.50 in the morning. No way. Wait a minute. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to Behind the Lockbox. I'm Stephanie Zalowski here with Cameron Barbier. We also have another special guest with us. Is she in the camera, Max? Can can we see? Yeah. Gwen yeah. is here. Don't bark, Gwen. We had many conversations about her not barking, so <laughs> let's hope. But today, we're actually sitting down with Ryan Jameson from 360 Residential. Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having me. Ryan and his wife have been in business for 15 years, and you have two children. You said a complete set. Complete set. Which I love. Yeah. Todd, listen, you need a complete set, right? Cam, tell him. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't. I haven't you're not helping. Set you're yet. not helping. Anyway, um, and according to Amy, you have some stories for us. And you said you might have an embarrassing one. So I'm kind of excited to hear this. <laughs> I do. So, should, should I lead with that one? Let's just leave with it. Welcome to Behind the Lockbox. Oh, Thank you for being here. Thanks for having yeah. me. Yeah. So let's do it. Go so right this, into it. This was when I first got my license. So it was well over 10 years ago. Yeah. Uh, I had a client, uh, first client, actually. Okay. And Where'd you meet this client? I met her in an open house. Okay. So actually I was oh. leaving the open house and collecting my signs and she drove up and stopped and it's like, Hey, can I get in the open house? So that I, always happens, right? You're like, in. of course. I went yes. back in and I let her in. And yeah. Got her contact and phone. She ended up being a client. So you know, it was worth it. Yeah. That is always. Great. Especially yes. your first one, you mm -hmm. know, or like first client. Yeah. So she was kind of all over the place. First time home buyer. So we're looking at houses kind of county wide mm -hmm. at this Fun. point. Um, so up in San Marcos, she wanted to see a condo. Okay. Um, she can only do 8 a.m. Saturday morning. <laughs> Call the listing agent. Shows up late to an open house. I can only do 7.30 in the morning, Saturday. You're like, okay, great. Jeez. You know, <laughs> it is what it is. It is. It's true. We, we it's just, true. You know, make our schedules around our clients. It's schedules. very yes. true. It's very true. So, uh, yeah, 8 o'clock, called the listing agent, said, not a problem. Go there. You know, it's on lockbox. Amazing. So, wake up early, you know, some early 30s at this point. So, yeah. You know. Not 6 30 over. 7 o'clock is is pretty early yeah it still is kind of early but yeah <laughs> <laughs> grab, no, a okay, grab a large coffee and drive up to san marco so okay. if i get there about maybe 10 minutes before okay so you're like feeling good feeling good you're there on yeah. time so i really have to use a bathroom okay. large coffee <laughs> you know long drive <laughs> open up the lockbox go in the house oh no i'm scared <laughs> Mom, I'm scared. Find the bath. So I lock the door, the front door. So my client good call. can't come in. Yes. Okay, yes. I don't want her coming in. Yes. Uh, find the bathroom. Sit down. It's one of those weird bathrooms where the toilet's like right in front of the door. Oh, yeah. So I'm in there kind of doing my thing. And I see some movement in the bedroom <laughs> oh. down the hall. And it turns out there was a person sleeping in the bedroom down the hall. And I'm here using the, the restroom <laughs> with the door wide open at 7.50 in the morning. No wait wait a minute i thought that so the house was not like vacant on lockbox it wasn't vacant it was you know tenant occupied but he's like yeah the tenant will be gone the tenant was not gone so i think the the lesson i learned did they just, did they see you no they were still sleeping they were just kind but of you saw like you yeah. uh, they didn't hear you come in or anything no i guess you know deep sleeper deep sleeper I think or the lesson you know, learned was you know maybe check the were house you just before like before you use the restroom like quietly oh close the gosh. door and like you're like, I'll flush later. It's not, it's not what you're like. How, okay, wait. Okay. So now I have questions. Okay. What did you do with the tenant? Like, did you. After you. The tenant, yeah. the tenant never woke up. So obviously, you know, you have to. Right. You finish your scene. business. You, finish, you clear your flush, scene. Yeah. I love <laughs> all, all that stuff. Clear the scene. Cleaned up the crime scene. Good to go. Okay. Go back outside. Wait for my client to come. Uh, she came out and said, hey, there's someone sleeping in here. You know, just, you know. I, I saw him through the a window. I don't too. know. Yeah. So it smells. We, we kind of yeah. came in and looked around very tentatively, you know. She's, right. It's weird when there's someone in the house. Right. Especially sleeping. Right. And uh, you don't want to startle them. Mm -hmm. Did they ever know that you were there? I don't think so. They just stayed so. asleep. You we just, were like, very quiet. We didn't look in. at the house very long. She didn't obviously put an offering on it. Yeah. She, she was probably one of those people that also like knew immediately if this is something she liked or didn't like or whatever. She mm -hmm. was probably in and out. So that's my embarrassing story. Did she ever I mean, buy? She did buy. Oh, she bought so a place in, uh, house, in Point Loma. Oh. Point Loma, yeah. A me wow, Wait. she really was all over the county then, huh? From San Marcos to Marcos. Yeah, well, you know, that's an even better location though. That's yeah, fantastic. For sure. 
That is so funny. I still can't believe this person never woke up. I know. Like, how? what kind of a deep sleeper is that? Especially if you know, because I'm sure the agent told them that, you know, there's the showing happening. Mm-hmm. So. Such a such a tenant thing to do. You know? yeah. yeah, yeah, it's fine. I'll be gone. And then they're like, no. They were probably hung over. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Unlike us at early 30s, you know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. Anyway, that's really funny. Oh, my God. Okay. Do you have another one? Uh, yeah. So I, I not embarrassing. Not embarrassing for me. <laughs> for you. It's, it's oh. A different kind of story. So, okay. Okay. Uh, I fill a bunch of rentals. It helps kind of supplement our income. Oh, nice. I got a friend that owns a ton of uh, properties that he rents out. Oh, fantastic! Uh, you know, buy and hold investor. Yep. Uh, so I have this one property. It's in La Mesa. Um, Try to do an open house showing mm-hmm. prospective tenants. Mm-hmm. Uh, this woman comes in. She's very young, maybe early 20s. It's hard to gauge people's it is. ages. It's the older you get. Yeah. You know, I see people at the Padres games at beers. I'm like, are they yeah. old enough to drink? Well, I then they're be, driving. I'm like, yes. you are not. 16. And then also, how does it define our age? Where I'm like, that kid doesn't, he looks 16 or 12. He should not be driving. And everyone's like, okay, boomer. I'm like, oh, sorry. I like, got so defensive over like I could drive. But it's true. I mean, I'm almost 40 and people don't think that. It's it's yeah. difficult. It's very hard to gauge. It's hard to, yeah. The yeah. You get the, everyone just looks young. Yes. yes. <laughs> God, sad. sad. We're getting old. Anyway, yeah. so you're trying to gauge. She's younger she, she's for young. sure. So yeah. this was maybe four years ago. It's a four thousand dollar rental, which you know doesn't sound expensive now, but four years ago, you know, yeah, that's Mesa was, was. Yeah, I mean, it is still now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I had a pool, had solars, like four bedrooms. Oh my God, can we get a? Now that you said that, now that you painted the picture, I'm like, what a steal at four thousand. Like, yeah. Anyway, it's a good rental. Yes. So I said, you know, what do you what do you do for work? She's like, well, I do uh marketing, and uh, my boyfriend here. Is Similar age. Okay. He's uh, unemployed. So I'm like, yeah, I don't know if this is kind of the, the, the place for you. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, oh, well, I made $50,000 last month. I'm like, okay, yeah. That, Only fans. That works. That works. Maybe. So she came back a second time. And I'm like, what is it again you do? She's like, oh, I'm an influencer online. Okay. I'm like, okay, that's, that's cool. Um, and what year was this? Maybe four years ago, something like that. Okay, so that was still, I mean, influencers, you know, they're, they've been around a minute. So, yeah. yeah, okay. So she had like a brand new Jeep and, you know. Okay, so like, she was clearly yeah. doing okay. So I said, I need to see bank statements. And that's when it came out that she did OnlyFans. Oh my gosh, I was right. You were right. <laughs> I just learned about this a couple yeah. weeks ago. That's crazy. So she was she was not attractive. I mean, she wasn't ugly, but she wasn't attractive. She wasn't like slim. Wait, did you look at her OnlyFans page? No, no. Damn, so now I tried to find it. I didn't know how. Was it the same girl that Weston? (laughs) (laughs) But she showed me her bank account statement. Yeah, she made like, you know, 75 grand the month before. So she eventually came out with it and was like. making a lot of money doing OnlyFans, yeah. Did she get the rental? (sighs) No, we rented to a different guy that owned a few sandwich shops. That had. (laughs) That actually had a job. I love that she's like, I do marketing. Yeah, marketing. Great spin. What are you marketing? Her feet. And making good money on it. And then he's just like, and he's unemployed. It's like, it's like that joke when, you know, for the HGTV, they're like, oh, he's a kite designer and we, our budget's three million a year. Yeah, you're like, like, what? You're like, that doesn't make any sense. That's hysterical. Yeah. Oh my God. Okay. But now we need to know like where her OnlyFans page was. I feel like we had this come up multiple times and I don't know how you find these people. I don't either. I don't. I tried to look it up just because I was like, what does she do? That She's making all this money. Right. Did you know what OnlyFans attractive. was at that point? Uh, yeah, I figured it out. Okay, okay. Unlike Cam. Yeah, a couple episodes ago, uh, one of our other buddies was on and and he was talking about how, you know, this girl was like, came into his open house. Maybe it was the same one. I don't know. Although she was an agent, I believe. And she had an OnlyFans page. And I'm like, wait, what was on it? He's like, I don't know. I've never been on Cam's like, she was trying so, so hard. hard to sit through it and be like, uh-huh, uh-huh. And then she's like, okay, That's guys, I can't pretend anymore. I don't know what OnlyFans is. And we're like, yeah right yes you do but she didn't i wish i I secretly had a page or something but yeah no i had no clue i mean just like we talked about when you first walked in like real estate you know it's slow then it's not it's great when it's you know yeah not slow we all might have to turn to OnlyFans eventually i don't know i saw like some girl was making weston sent it to us like a million dollars a month yeah people make you know 15 grand a night sleeping filming it it's it's nuts like and who is paying for this the subscription people right yeah but like Max, why are you laughing? Do you are, do you look at OnlyFans? Which fans? accounts do you follow, <laughs> Mister? Who are you? Well, yeah, give us give us some tips, Max. Where are we going to find these OnlyFans <laughs> chicks from? <laughs> so oh I immediately God. talked to my lender. I'm like, hey, can you get this girl pre-approved? Like, I'm going to sell her a house because she's making Hell so yeah. much oh, money. Yeah, 
but you know, self-employed, and she had only been doing it for so long, and so long, and it was kind of a new thing back then. Yeah, I, think. I didn't know. Yeah, so like, four oh, years ago, you know, it feels we, we can't we can't get her approved. I wonder what she makes now, what she's doing. I don't know. Have you stayed in touch with her or no? No. Damn. I'm sure if I look through all my old emails, I could find her contact info. But. Okay, we're gonna need a follow up. Yeah, on that. that'd be pretty. Funny. We're gonna need you and Amy to uh, scour the interwebs and try to find her page because I want to know has she upped her game? <laughs> Is she making a million dollars a month now? I mean, I maybe need she's to know. like, girl, yeah, it's making like. I need to know. We need details. Yeah, we're yeah. gonna need more. Okay, okay. <laughs> Behind the Lockbox is sponsored by Property Showcase Group. Property Showcase Group has a team of creatives, directors, producers, editors, marketing specialists, and designers that work in tandem to tell and share stories of the built environment. Whether you're looking for full-service production or simply just in content creation, Property Showcase Group can help take your business to the next level. To learn more or to contact Property Showcase Group to schedule a consultation, you can find them at propertyshowcasegroup.com. That's spelled P-R-O-P-E-R-T-Y-S-H-O-W-C-A-S-E-G-R-O-U-P dot com. Property Showcase Group dot com. So we sometimes, well, do you have any other stories? Can you think of anything else? Uh, nothing off the top of my head. Okay. Uh, Amy's got some good stories, but I'll, I'll save her stories. She can Okay, because she's she coming on. on. Yeah. She's sick today. Otherwise, she was going to be here. So yeah, I'm just filling sad. in. I'm a last minute replacement. So. Literally, she's like, okay, my Great husband will be there. We're like... I'm like, oh, wait, does he know? Okay, I'm texting him right now. Thanks, Amy, for sending him. <laughs> yeah. I love you. Okay, so we do play a little game at the end. Okay. And this might incite some stories for you. This usually does for people. So Cam's going to ask you three questions. And first thing that comes to your head, this might this might incite something else. Yeah. Okay. What's the craziest or pettiest thing you've ever killed or almost killed one of your deals? Uh, I don't know. My, my broker has a really good saying, which I kind of live by now. It's called, he says, your ego is not your amigo. Because uh, a lot of times you'll get caught up in being right. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm right. Like that guy's wrong, and you'll almost kill a deal when it's just like, okay, let's focus on the big the picture, yeah. which is the client yeah. getting the deal done. And it's not, true. Not being right, not your ego. Yeah, it's so. true. I've had a couple of guests on that have have talked about that. Um, Monroe, who's actually, uh, he was talking about a mentor who you know really told him to like remove himself from the commission. You know what I mean? Which is really good for us to do. And I think David Spivak was the other one that mm. said, like, I was like, we asked what killed. He's like, my ego. And we all just bust yeah. out laughing. And I was like, that was so self-aware. But it's the truth. I mean, we don't mean for it to come in like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when we're doing this every day and, and the client sometimes can't see what's in front of them and we know that we're right, you sometimes just have to, you really do. You have to kind of like mm -hmm. let it go. And or even sometimes, when you're right with the other agent, like you're the ones. That's actually probably the bigger <laughs> yeah. instance. Yes. Yes, and you're supposed to be working true. together. It's like a team. Yeah, it's very true. It's, yeah, very it's always true. tough when it's a contentious mm -hmm. relationship. You know, I, know. Yeah. I agents, hate that. So. I hate that. I really try. I do everything in my power. I've only had one deal where it was like that. And it was just so unbelievably upsetting because it's not what you want. You know what I mean? Like you're trying to do everything right. And the other person is just whatever has a bone to pick. You know yeah. what I mean? It's it's tough sometimes. So anyway, For I sure. like that answer. Okay, what's the weirdest thing or situation you've ever walked in on? Other than the sleeping tenant. Walked in on. Um, oh, personal. Or I, found. I, I was showing this house and they're like, oh, the, the tenant's going to be home. Like, that's fine. That's fine. It was, uh, I fear it was, somewhere in the South Bay. Okay. And we go in and the woman kind of greets us, an older lady. Um, her kids are watching TV. We walk around the different bedrooms. We open one of the doors and there's a person in like hospice in like a <gasps> bed like a full hospital bed hooked up to like all these no. monitors in there. Like she didn't even warn us like, Hey, maybe don't go in there or there's someone. Or in just there. to yeah. let you know. Yeah. So we walked in there and I was just like, Whoa, what's going on? So that was no, And you hear all and the you monitors see beeping. that often. So that would be like such a shock to like open the door to that. Well, yeah, the fact that she like opened the door and let us in and didn't like mention yeah, say something. that at all. Knowing that you're going to be walking around looking at the entire house. Yeah. It's so funny to me. There's been, I've done some showings like that too, where, you know, the, the seller's home, they let you in kind of thing. And then, you know, the teenagers just like passed out in the bedroom or watch it or playing video games and it's stinky in there. And you're just like, okay, like, could it's you just morning tell me? would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. Like yeah. that's wild though. And so sad, but like, oh. damn. Anyway. Yeah, we had one once the person's like, yeah, you can show the house, but the dog's going to be home. He's super friendly. 
So we go in there and it's like an 80 pound dog oh, and he's God. just barking. Oh God. Like at the top of his lungs. Well, yeah. I mean, no dog is going to be chill with just some random mm -hmm. yeah, person. In. Yeah. And group of people at that. You know what I mean? Ugh, was, yeah. Did he, he didn't bite or anything, right? Was no, he one, he was one, just... one of my clients was a veterinarian. So she's like, oh, this is fine. We kind of like sidestepped in, but okay. it didn't last very long. Thank we, God we she was quick. a vet because, <laughs> yeah. you know, and typically they have like that air about them that like their dogs know that they're you know yeah, good protected. people yeah exactly That's, oh my God. the dog will be home he's friendly it's fine 80 pounds you're like um there's a saint bernard here <laughs> like jesus anyway okay what's the third one okay if you could be anything other than a real estate agent what would you be and why retired i guess <laughs> I don't know. Uh, actually you guys have something in common yeah. we do yes what you're both officiants it's <gasps> true Oh my god! I, I don't think I don't think I would quit. That. No way! Yeah. How did it go? It went okay. Yeah, it, it went great. Did, did well. Yeah, we were all cracking up. You had some good, good joke. jokes in there. I love it. Yeah, it was did actually just the second wedding I did this year. So. Oh no. Okay. Well, maybe <laughs> yeah. maybe you do have a career in this, and I've only done one, and it was like four years ago. I every time I you know meet someone, I'm like, you guys want me to marry you? And they're like, no. I'm like, oh, okay. I thought you know we could offer full services here. Mm -hmm. We'll sell them a house. <laughs> we'll marry them. There you go. And then if they get a divorce, well. We have yeah, lawyers for that. You got to watch how you say it because I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm marrying Brad on Saturday. And someone's I like, wait, what? I'm like, time. oh, no, I'm officiating like, his wedding. I married them and they're like, excuse right. me? And I'm like, you know, uh, 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 what's the word? What's the word? Officiate, officiate. That's what I did. It was yeah. so fun. I wore like a lady tux. It was really fun. Nice. Yeah, it was super fun. Except I forgot to tell everybody to sit down. Oh, that's pretty important. And then all of a sudden, uh huh. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, everyone's just like, <sighs> like sits down. And I'm like, Actually, you told everyone to sit down, and then we were like, wait, we don't have any chairs. <laughs> we were standing like it was in the a, corner. It was, yeah, it was a, oh, you didn't have any chairs. Yeah, so oh, we're like, okay. oh, shoot, we can't sit down. Wedding, I guess. It wasn't non-traditional. Oh, that's cool, It was cool, kind though. of around a pool. Yeah, at it was a, cool. At a, oh. At a, at a hotel. hotel. Mm -hmm. Oh, wasn't this your hairdresser? Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. At a hotel. Yeah, the Pearl down in yeah. uh, Point Loma. Ooh. Yeah, it was really cool. That's really nice. pretty. They rented out the entire hotel. So. Wow, that's beautiful. So, But you've got it down now, it feels like. You've done two. I've done two. You just can't have, you know, people go to all my weddings because i'll kind of recycle a lot of well the yeah jars, i know? mean you know you you're like friend groups yeah you're like mm, i need i need i need a different friend group well i uh we the couple that i married the couple that i officiated their wedding for they got married up in lake arrowhead so it was really like there there was like you know the traditional like chairs and all that kind of stuff and so it was so did everyone really stand cool. and keep standing or eventually all no they of... sat down pretty quickly because oh. like you know, we're like, thank you for being here. And then I don't remember you black out a little bit probably after. And this was also like, gosh, four or five years ago. It was a while ago. Yeah. Um, I actually just saw them in Arizona, by the oh, way. Nice. Um, he like when he came up, I think I don't he was in the military. So I think we did some sort of something with that in the beginning. I don't know. It was a little bit, you know, we rehearsed, but clearly not that much because, you know, it was a long time ago. It was Lots a long time ago. Uh, yeah. I'll, I mean, I don't remember. Max but and I were just earlier. We're like, I don't remember happening yesterday. So, you know, they're still that. together. They are. So you did a good there's, job. I yeah. did do a good job. Yeah. I was like, I take this job very seriously. So <laughs> you guys are not allowed to get divorced. Just so you know. Can't have that on my record. Yeah. I cannot have that on my record. 100% guarantee that everyone stays together. Yeah. Yeah. And then somebody asked me the other day, like, so how did you like, you know, get your like license? And I was like, it was so hard. <laughs> I went to universalchurchoflife.com. I put in my name and it spit out a certificate. Boom. That's yeah, it. it's pretty easy in California. It's kind of like real estate. <laughs> so what do you actually want to do if you didn't have to be an issue? Yes. Other than being efficient and retired. You know, it's always nice when you see the lending aspect of it, especially when yeah. people are ripping refis and stuff like that. Being yeah. a lender right now probably isn't super tough. great, but mm -hmm. you know, when the rates are, you know, start right. going down, they can keep right. hitting that same book of business. Yeah, um, that's true. That's true. It's always nice, you know, I want to say double dipping, but you know, just keep yeah. hitting him up and helping yeah. him out and getting, you know. Would nice you do both, you mean? Or would you no. just go maybe into the lending yeah. side? Yeah. I guess. I don't know. Yeah. Probably. It's, it's it's weird to kind of stay in the industry, I guess, and do a different facet of it. Um, but if I had to, I guess I would go to lending, I believe. I started in lending, yeah. actually, in during like the 2006, 2007, 2008. Nice. I worked for Countrywide. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just a drunk college kid and yeah, exactly. writing. Getting big checks back then. I mean, you know. Hell yeah, I made great money back then. Yeah, and we got like lunch bought every day. Wow. Oh yeah, I'd like call like one I'd of the like loan officers. I'd be like, "You look so nice today." <laughs> I can't see them. And they'd be like, "What do you want?" I'm like Olive Garden. <laughs> it was great. It was great. But you know, there was lots of other shit happening. So my bad.
Yeah. Anyway, Oops, you know, we all learned a lesson. But yeah, I mean, lending is definitely a great aspect of it. But I mean, just like them, I mean, you know, it's slow for us sometimes too. I mean, that's mm-hmm. just the real estate market. So it yeah. is what it is. You but. have to, you know, not expect that every month's going to be the same. You yep. know, put some money away. Yep. You know, any new yes. agents listening, like you're never going to have yes. yeah. those great, great, great months back to back to back to back to back. You yep. know, there's going to be slow months. So. Yep. You got to be smart with it. Yeah. That's for sure. So yeah. yeah we definitely have a Allison. Thank you so much for being here. Yeah. Thanks for I know me. you, yeah. I know it was like super last minute, but we're just so glad you came. Oh, that was fun. Yeah. And now, fun. now we should do a wedding together. <laughs> Okay. Sounds good. Okay. Cool. Can't cool you see us ripping? Yeah. Yeah. It would be great. You guys want to get married again? No. We'll, we'll I've already been married twice. So. I mean, that's true. We'll <laughs> to the same person. Yeah. I was like, maybe you should clarify that. <laughs> Matt's like, uh, is there something that I should know? No, same no. person twice. Same person twice. Anyway. All right. All right, Ryan. Thank you so much. All right. All right we'll see you guys next week. Bye. Bye. Thanks for listening. Behind the Lockbox is produced and edited by Property Showcase Group. If you like this podcast, please share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, or review this podcast. Thanks for your support. See you next week.